How's it going today? Um, this is just gonna be a quick video on how to make a lampshade look like the light is on um, so that light is actually passing through it. Um, now, I will just kind of say that this is probably the, the, the easiest way that you can do it, um, but it might not be the best way. Um, if you are kind of new with Blender or you're just not sure to do this and this will work, um, but it can create some noise in your scene. So um, yeah, there probably are some more complex things with the nodes you can do to make it come out a little bit better. But uh, I think for just uh, something quick and dirty, this, um, this will do. So first things first is I'm just gonna find where I wanna place my lamp. Um, now I have a asset manager from iMesh. It's very helpful. Um, so I can just append the object in because I've already sorted it all out. Now, this is from Evermotion originally. So if I click on this, everything is on um, one texture. Now, this has good and bad for some things. Uh, in this particular case, it's not great because I wanna be able to uh, alter just the lampshade. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to my material editor. Um, I guess I didn't actually have to click new there, but you are just gonna at least, I'll back this up one. So you only have to get it to this point. So you just hit plus, And then when you see an empty one here, you're just gonna find the name of your lamp here. So um, that looks about right. I'm not sure why all the numbers are messed up. I think it's because I imported this a couple times when I was testing something, but I'll just pretend that that wasn't there. Now, normally you can hit this um, and it will make the um, the duplicated uh, linked material, it will um, make it its own so that you can uh, you can edit, um, you can have basically the same material uh, texture, but you can just edit one of them. So in this example, I'm just gonna click in here. I'm gonna hit L so I can select all of the, um, all of the vertices here. And then I'm going to assign this new lampshade and you don't have to do this part, but this is just an example. So if I remove this, and now I've assigned it. Um, if I change this to like green or whatever, as you can see, the lampshade's changing, but the rest of it is not. Um, so I will go back here because I want that to be hooked up. Um, I just think it's a good kind of example of what we were doing there. All right, so that's good enough. Um, I'll just do this one more time to make sure that it's linked. Um, oh, I went back one step too far there. Um, so I think that that's, there we go, make it its own. And then I'm just gonna turn the subsurface up to like 0 0.02. Um, you really don't have to have it high at all for this. Um, it will uh, it will work at just this little amount. And I actually kind of recommend that because I find you get a better, um, it just looks more like a real lampshade. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this uh, light bulb just to get it out of the way. Um, and then I'm just going to add in a, uh, a light. Now, for this particular one, I do have the add-on extra lights. I believe you can get it for free, or at least the um, reduced version for free on the Blender Market. So I really recommend you do that, but this will work with just kind of like normal spotlights, point lights, whatever you're using. Um, but for this one, I'm just going to use this. Uh, I'm going to drag this up a little bit. I'm going to convert the temperature. You may, now, if you're using the default Blender ones, you won't have this. This is just something with extra lights. Uh, I am going to change the watts on this to uh, 2.5 and then the temperature just because that will change the color of the light a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is actually make sure that this is turned off down here, the auto keying. You don't want that right now. So I'm going to delete that. Then I'm going to hit Alt D and then RX 180. And now this light should be facing up and one's facing down. So I'm just gonna get my camera. Uh, I'm gonna set it to like just 100 samples um, just so that we can kind of see where it's at. Um, I actually can't go into rendered mode right now. Um, I tried to download uh, NVIDIA Omniverse and for some reason it just makes it so I can't, like ever since I downloaded that, I haven't been able to go into rendered mode. It just makes Blender crash, but I can just hit like my normal render button and everything seems to work. So uh, I'm not sure why um, that's happening, but it is kind of inconvenient because I haven't been able to use the uh, viewport denoising for a couple of weeks now. Um, but you will kind of get the point. So uh, this is, you know, looking pretty good. Um, probably have to go up on the subdivision or the subsurface scatter because while there is light passing through this, I don't think it's enough light. Um, you know, if you like that effect, you can kind of go with that. I'm just gonna turn it up a tiny bit um, just because I want there to be a little more light coming out of this part. But as you can see, um, 
what I like about doing this method is that the way that you position your lights, it'll make it so that um, you can kind of control what parts of the lampshade are brighter than the others. And that looks really realistic to me because if you actually look at a lampshade, it's not very common that the entire thing is completely like uniform uh, brightness. You often have like a little bit more brightness near the top or the bottom, depending on where the light bulb is. Um, so for this, I am just going to go back in the materials. Uh, let's just times this by two. So it's 0 0.04. I'll save this, render it out. And uh, we'll see how that goes. There is one more thing I'm going to add into once we um, just kind of see how this looks. So that's looking uh, a little bit brighter. Might be hard to kind of pick up, but um, now what I will mention though is that this is using just the uh, subsurface color, uh, just it's white. Um, so what we can do is you could actually go into the material um, editor and we can just plug in. Um, we can actually plug the base color into the subsurface color um, and it will give you a bit of a different effect. Um, I'm also going to remove this opacity map. Um, right. And then so the diffuse map is going to come into subsurface color. Uh, I'll save this, go back into layout and we'll just render this out one more time quickly. Uh, and I think that this one should be basically good to go. Um, by making the uh, subsurface color the same as the diffuse, I find it just helps interact with the actual um, light a little bit better. Um, so as you can see, we are getting a little more light in the center now. Um, looks more realistic, but as you can see, by doing it like this, and I think that it is particularly the subsurface color that can actually cause this, um, I guess it went away just because the optics uh, denoiser, but you do kind of get a lot of noise from that. Um, which I found it wasn't as bad when I just leave the subsurface color on white. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically the whole tutorial. Um, as I said, this is probably not the best way, but if you are kind of in a jam and you just can't get it to work, this is a pretty good way of doing it. Um, and, um, yeah, so, um, hopefully, uh, this, um, <laughs> helped out some, uh, helped out some people that are trying to learn blender or, you know, maybe are a little more experienced and just didn't know how to do this. Um, but uh, if the tutorial helped you, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that big red subscribe button below uh, and help support the channel. If you have any, um, you know, any comments about the video or any suggestions for future videos, I'd uh, love to hear them below. Uh, I am trying to make uh, both Lumion and Blender uh, tutorials lately because those are the two uh, render engines that I use the most and uh, I have uh, really enjoyed using them. So uh, I'm going to leave it there for today. Have a great night, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.